Good afternoon guys, I'm over here at Premium Coach Group in Gilbert, Arizona and we're going to work on this uh, 2008 Tiffin Allegro bus. We're just going to do an inspection on it. I've already done the majority of the inspection, but of course, i got to save the roof for you guys. Now these are some of my favorite Tiffins, mostly because they're simple and they're developed really well. But there's one thing I want to show you guys real fast because I thought it was always cool and you didn't see this very often, especially from Dometic. Now this does have... How do you want? Out. So this one does have a Weather Pro awning on it. And this Weather Pro is pretty cool. They only did this for a year or two and I only ever saw them on Tiffin products. But not only does it come out, there's a uh, inner shade that actually comes down with it that's powered also. So it might be hard to appreciate, but you have this shade panel down here that's incorporated into the uh, tube itself and comes down. Now, knock on wood, I've yet to have actually had to fix one of these. But for whatever reason, the medic didn't uh, make it a very common pro product. Now, I don't know if I've ever done a good job explaining what a gel coat or a true gel coat fiberglass roof is. But when you're trying to think about how fiberglass uh, components are molded into, are, are formed and molded, uh, they use fiberglass mat in a mold and using resin and they squeeze it tight. In the similar method of making a mold for this fiberglass, they have a fiberglass cap, they have fiberglass mat and resin that they use to make actually make a one piece continuous roof for this which means just like most fiberglass uh, molds they use a release and gel coat uh, layer they, they paint that then they put the matting down and resin it all at the same time so it's all one continuous piece so it's not like a sheet material that gets rolled out that's fiberglass is actually true fiberglass that would be the difference between a true gel coat fiberglass roof and a phylon roof but like any of these roof inspections i do like to use the ladder extension and the ladder to make sure that i can test that out but let's go ahead and get on top all right so i'm pulling up here now this is a one piece fiberglass rear cap and it's molded but it's not seamless on the top not surprising, the clear coat is sunburnt in many, many places. But now Tiffin, just like Winnebago, uses self-leveling silicone sealant on their roof. It's a very durable product right here. So this is the original factory sealant. Like I always say, Dicor will not stick to this roof sealant. So if it's a silicone roof sealant, Dicor is not gonna do any good. You need to make sure you're using uh, Nuflex 311 or self-leveling silicone. But I do like that sealant. It seems to last forever. Uh, this gap right here, let's see that seal. Hmm. Maybe I could recommend we touch it up. But it only really looks bad because it's a flexible sealant and the paint that was painted on there will uh, start to chip off. You'll see it right here too. But I don't see anything bad on it. Now this radius is again part of the uh, fiberglass roof. It, it does come off in the mold and then they bend it over and secure it down with the molding right here. Uh, we do have what I would call checking, which is not gonna be uncommon in these fiberglass sidewalls and roofs. It's not ideal, but you can also see all the uh, paint damage that's occurring on the roof, which again is why I'm gonna recommend you wash and wax your roof too. That'll help prolong the life of the fiberglass and of course the paint. Try to do that at least once a year. Let's see what this is. I don't know why this got gooped on there. That might just be a sap that leaked on it. All right. This slide out topper here looks fine. I would say it's not the original one just because it's not common to have a blue insert on it. it feels like a good material. Uh, maybe we could recommend it's just the paint chipping on that. Just clear silicone is all we'd really want to put over the top. I don't see anything too bad. Let's get over here. 
It's kind of hard to make out, but Tiffin does give you a texture path on each side. Hopefully for grip strength when you're walking around with your shoes. So there's a path on this side and another one right here. So that texture is normal. And of course, don't forget to, we, we want to walk the molding on the rear cap just to make sure that it's not loose anywhere. If it was loose, the screws would actually pop up or the sealant would break. If we were to look on this side, the exact same procedure. We have uh, checking going on here, clear coats peeling, and other than that, that topper looks good too. Now I know cosmetically this may not look great, but there's really not much to be done about it. It's still serviceable. It's keeping uh, the weather out, which is its main purpose. Uh, if you were to paint it, the checks are going to come through the paint, but the clear will actually, if you do re-clear it, will help protect the fiberglass that's not checked. At least make it look better too. So we have one, two, three roof ACs. These are likely heat pumps. We'll lean against them, make sure they're not loose. Uh, these are again, biggest issues on these is that the outside blower and the inside blower are on the same motor and the inside impeller on that blower wheel usually falls down, either jams up or explodes. Which is why I think Coleman RVP went ahead and discontinued this style. This is going to be the omnidirectional. Well, it's not even omnidirectional. It looks like an omnidirectional one, but you can actually in the front uh, rotate the TV inside this dish right here. So I've never had an issue with it. It's a very good TV antenna. Sealant looks good. It's not loose and it's perfect. Low profile. So it's just about the same height as uh, the ACs themselves. Keep looking over here, not seeing an issue. Uh, hmm. Maybe a little bit of gap right here. So I could recommend that we were to clean and then reseal just around the base of that sewer vent. Now this awning fabric, it's not uncommon right here for this to come loose from that wrap. Let me see if I can't point it out a little bit better. Right there, there's a plastic insert uh, that should be holding it inside the tube right here, but usually it shrinks up over time. I normally just get a piece, take that end off and put a new piece inside there to re-secure it back down. That's pretty common. And this fantastic vent. I mean, look at that, that's pristine and perfect. It's 15 years. Sealant's in great shape. Same thing with this one. Well, not 15 years, I guess. Uh, let me do the math real fast. It's been 13 years, and that factory sealant looks perfect still. It might be dirty, but it just needed to be washed. Same with this fantastic vent. Now, some of these Tiffin skylights have been prone to issues as far as cracking. Usually they're the uh, white obscured ones. We do want to check and make sure I don't see any cracks coming up from the base into the lens itself. I'm not seeing anything. Sealant's still perfect and intact. Here at the second or mid coach AC. I'll check and make sure it's not loose. This solar panel, it's a good size 160, 150 watt panel maybe. I don't see anything wrong with the installation. Sealant looks good. This cap for the awning. Uh, on the radius, I don't see anything wrong with any of the sealant. It's held up very, very well. Maybe we could reseal around the sewer vent again. But I think this is why Tiffins are pretty popular. They're built really well. And again, I can't tell you how this roof feels really, really strong. There's no give to it at all. Go over the edge right here. This topper is looking good too. There's more sun burning here. But yeah, it's gray. Don't worry, guys. It's supposed to be gray. Over here to this fantastic vent that's already in the up position. I mean, look at it. I mean, this looks great. It's built really well. That's why I like that self leveling silicone. Over here to the front AC. 
is not loose. It's in good shape. Continue looking over here. Not really seeing an issue of anything concerning. Maybe, let's see, again, that's just really the paint that's cracking. It's not the sealant. And not to a big surprise to anybody, on the fiberglass in this front cap is sunburnt. The clear is peeling off, and there's a little bit of checking right there. Now, surprisingly, the sidewalls themselves, I didn't see any real signs of checking on them. So I, I don't understand how this was out in the sun and the roof got damaged, but the sidewalls were protected. So that's at least good news. Okay, so if we look at this, this is not the original satellite that would have come from Tiffin. The original one looks like it was a King Dome. And they installed a wine guard road trip. And it's always better just to leave the, the old mounts on there and put new ones on rather than taking the old ones out and uh, uh, exposing the holes that the screws would have been on. So I don't see anything wrong with that. And then... Make sure we walk the front cap molding. Make sure it's not loose or popping. I don't see any issues with that. TV antenna sealant's in good shape. CB antenna, did I say TV? Radio antenna's in good shape. And of course the CB antenna sealant is in good shape too. Man, this is looking really good guys. Well, there you guys have it, a 2008 Tiffin Allegro bus. We did the roof inspection on this one. This is a gel coat fiberglass one piece roof. It's in fantastic shape. Could use a little bit of TLC as far as cleaning and waxing. Maybe some clear coat or repainting uh, on the radiuses and then on the front and rear caps. I think there's two sewer vents I could recommend being resealed or touched up, but everything else is looking really good. You don't want to use Dicor on this roof just because it won't stick to the old sealant. Like I said, I do like Tiffins. I am a Tiffin fanboy, and you can see 13 years. I wouldn't call it neglect, but it was not well maintained up here, and it didn't really need it, so it's held up really well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And yes, I will give you a very quick walkthrough to see what the inside looks like. Gotta do it in one continuous walk, huh? So this is nice, 2008, and you have ceramic tile throughout. The ceiling itself has padded vinyl ceiling on it, so it's a nice soft touch to it. It is all cherry solid wood on it. This sofa does turn into a bed. I think this is an air mattress hide-a-bed, whereas this side is just a jackknife bed. Ah, uh, there's the lock, great. Right. There. Set one jackknife, just like that. And this one's gonna be a hide a bed. Yeah, that flips out. I think maybe you can do both of them in this one if I remember correctly. So you have two beds right up here. The passenger and driver seats are in really good shape, really, con really considerably good shape. Uh, I did like this uh, computer setup when Tiffin came out with it. It was a fun idea in 2008 to have a Windows-based PC with navigation on it and do your backup camera on it. But unfortunately, those did go obsolete pretty fast. So eh, it's not as good as you'd think it would be. It does have a smart wheel and it's a Spartan chassis. I thought I noticed that on the VIN number. It still does have hydraulic leveling on it. And all the shades are gonna be MCD roller shades, just uh, manual shades. So I did like that, except the front ones are gonna be power shades. Tiffin was one of the first uh, manufacturers to put flat screen TVs throughout their coaches, which is something I really appreciated from them. So it makes the upgrading to the uh, newer TVs a much easier. This one even has a booth, so this booth does turn into a bed. Pretty standard RV booth, except Tiffin did something a little bit different. This section right there, you have to pull out to put the table down onto it. Otherwise, the table will sit higher and will be in an uncomfortable bed. But that's kind of a rarity. So you have one, two, three beds. That'll sleep one, that'll sleep two, this will sleep one. That's four people can sleep up here. Also, in 2008, you had a residential refrigerator. That's pretty impressive. That's 
not a very common feature that you would have got in 2008. It's your uh, secondary front TV. The galley countertop is all cer That's a big sink. It's a really big sink right there on both sides. This is, of course, solid surface Corian countertop. Pretty neutral. So they didn't date it too bad. And the backsplash as a Corian with some uh, metallic looking tiles included in it. This one should still have the pull out countertop. Let me make sure unlatch it and pull. So you have your countertop extension there. Three drawers on it. This even still has a dishwasher, which is impressive. And even though this has a residential refrigerator and a hydronic aqua hot heater, water heater, I still have a two burner pro propane burner. A two burner propane stovetop. Right above that is going to be your convection oven microwave. We'll make our headway down to there. It does have central vacuum cleaner. And of course, we did see the solar panel on the roof. Bathroom right here. It is just one bathroom, a mid coach bath. It is a gravity toilet, but it is an electric toilet. <laughs> That's fun. This <laughs> is a good sized vanity countertop and medicine cabinet right above. And this is all solid, solid wood. Very, very nice. The shower surround is fiberglass, it actually has a uh, texture to it. It's a decent size, it even has a, a ledge, I guess you can put your foot up on. So we do have something of a step up, probably about eight inches of a step up. And that step up, remember I'm six foot, at least that's what I'm going with. I can step up just fine without hitting my head on this, but if I were to step straight out, uh, that did hurt a little bit. But with the skylight right here, more than enough room for anything, even if you're another foot taller than me. So yeah, it's a lot of room in here. Yeah, a decent amount. But coming out, dude, go ahead and step down. Don't hit your head. The secondary vanity over here, bigger countertop area, and even more medicine cabinet space. This does have a uh, washer dryer combo, so dryer right above, washer down below. Now from here back to there is gonna be the bedroom slide. There's a king size bed, that's pretty impressive. That's a big slide. That's a big bed and a big slide. It does have some storage underneath. Double pocket door right here. Bedroom TV, this does have an outside TV. This does have four slide outs, two in the front, two in the rear. This is just gonna be a closed hamper. Nice bank of dresser drawers, more drawers here, more storage. And of course, this is a cedar line closet. Pretty nice. I think it's aged pretty well. Well, there it was, 2008 Tiffin Allegro bus. This is a 42 foot unit. It has a tag axle. It's on a Spartan chassis. Cummins engine on it. Anything else I can't remember offhand. Sorry if I've been a little bit rushed in this because I got a lot to do, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. And maybe one of the most notorious uh, aspects on these Tiffins of this vintage or this year, usually about 2006 to about 2010, maybe not that late, is the water compartment floor. So that's one of the first things you should always look for. It's going to be in this middle bay right here, right in front of the front tire or the rear tires. And they built it out of, ah, what they built it out of plywood, but they wrapped it with Darko material. So you do want to get underneath. And make sure that it's not rotten am i hitting it it will bow a little bit because uh there's a lot of water under on the top of it in plywood cam bow it's only like three eighths plywood it's closer to osb but you do want to make sure that it's not rotten or falling out i have pointed that out on a few other videos or at least one other one because that's what's holding the uh, fresh water tank and the holding the 
wastewater tanks, the gray and black, are both above the freshwater tank. So that floor is rotten out. Everything's going to fall on the ground. But other than that, these Tiffins have a gel coat fiberglass roof. 